It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the man with the plan, chief investment officer, happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this? I guess first really official weekend in September. You know, I feel like it's the fall now. Labor Day is over, so we're we're in a, we're in a new season as far as I'm concerned. I'm with you, Ryan. Once uh, Labor Day comes and goes, we're into the fall. Time for football. Fantasy football, too. I mean, did you get your uh, fantasy football picks done last weekend? Not yet. Not yet. I've been distracted. <laughs> but I think, you know, I were talking about this earlier, but isn't it like 60 million people are involved in some sort of fantasy football league during the fall? That's an insane amount of people. Well, you know what, Rye? Anything but watch the news. I'm for it. <laughs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> well, Bob, you want to make an easy 11 grand this fall? Oh, man. Tell me. Tell me. Well, KFC has come out with a new promotion, kind of a bizarre promotion, where anyone who names their baby, who's soon going to be born, after the founder of KFC, which would be Harlan Sanders, can win $11,000. So, you know, Ryan, that's surprising because, um, you know, when mom and I sat down and made a list of names for you, Ryan was number one, and Harlan, believe it or not, was number two. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> 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 I've never even heard of that name. I mean, either. It's not, I don't think it's a very uh, prominent name in, uh, in modern society to name your kid Harlan. But also, symbolically, they're using $11,000 because the 11 represents the 11 herbs and spices that go into the KFC's uh, fried chicken recipe. So there you go. <laughs> kind of a bizarre uh, way to make some money, but uh, anyone who's looking for some extra cash, something to think about. Well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about retirement planning today. Planning for retirement is a lot more difficult than it used to be. Bob and I are going to discuss some of the challenges you're going to have to face that your parents didn't when it comes to your retirement planning. We're going to take you through the retirement planning quiz. Yes, school is back in session. We're going to take you through one of those multiple choice quizzes on important retirement planning questions, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot out there in the news, media, Bob and I want you to avoid at all costs, stay on track with your planning. And we have our colleague, Jen, certified financial angel on the show this morning. She's going to take you through a real retirement case that she worked on, talk about some of the mistakes, some of the things that she helped correct this couple with, so you can make the same good decisions with your own retirement and planning. So let's get right to it, Bob. Let's talk about retirement planning isn't what it used to be. And we talk a lot about this, Bob. You know, you and I, We've been doing this a lot, long time now. You started back 40 years ago helping people with retirement planning. I've been doing it for almost 20 years. And let's face it, the kind of planning we do today for people is a lot different than what we did many, many years ago. You know, it's different, not radically different, but uh, the big thing is when I started some 40 odd years ago, you know, most of you stayed with the same company and you had a pension. You never really thought about retirement. You know, once you hit 62 or 65, you would collect your pension, you would collect your social security. It was all done for you. It's all different now. You know, not a lot of people have pensions, right? Yeah, you're right. That's a great point. And we don't see many pensions like we used to see it. But I think, Bob, you do have a pension. Yeah, I do, right? Matter of fact, I just got my second check. I'm uh, very excited. Wait a minute, Bob. So now you're getting these pension checks. Does that mean that we can reduce your salary here at Payne Capital Management? Look, Ry, you already work me like a dog and pay me like a puppy. Um, <laughs> I'm actually looking around for a new agent to renegotiate my deal here as uh, chief <laughs> investment strategist. <laughs> Always looking for more, Bob. Never looking for less. <laughs> hey, what, what kind of advice do you want? Do you want to know how to make more or make less? I mean, you know, choose. <laughs> the point is you don't have the pension like it used to. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty about Social Security. I think as you're a baby boomer, you don't have too much to worry about. But what about your generation, Rye? What happens with Social Security with, with the X generation and more importantly with the millennials? I, I don't even want to go there, Bob. I'm not even factoring it in. But even if you're getting Social Security now and probably not getting a pension, let's face it, I mean, that's not going to be enough to get through retirement. And I think more to the point, Bob, is the onus is now on you. You've got to take your portfolio and you've got to convert it into what I would call a pension-like 
portfolio that generates income that you can live off of in retirement. And I would argue probably your portfolio is not structured right for retirement. Well, that's a great point. You really do have to build a portfolio like a pension manager would. And that doesn't mean just putting it into something for yield. It really is about investing for total return. You need a balance between risk assets like stocks and bonds, and it can't be all or none. And that's what pensions do. They hedge against inflation. And that's the big hidden insidious tax that is the biggest risk to you, whether you're retired right now or whether you're planning to retire. That also speaks to, Bob, the other issue you have is we're all living longer, which means not only do we have to worry about inflation for a longer period of time, but that means health care costs. There's a lot of things you need to price into your retirement plan, which you probably haven't done. And it's so critical because the good news is you are living longer. Bad news is the odds are you're going to have more medical costs. You're going to have more things that you're going to have to pay for that uh, your parents didn't have to worry about when they retired. Well, that's why I had three children, right? I plan to live a long time. And um, I've already found a way to transfer money directly from your account into my checking account. And, you know, so thank you for that. But uh, hey, let's face <laughs> it, you, you don't want to become a burden on your children. So it's so critical that you have a program that takes into account that you may live to 90 or 95 or 100. Now, some of our clients say, right, they don't want to live that long. But what if you do? Right, you have to you have to run those what if scenarios, don't you, Ry? Yeah, no, you definitely do. And the reality is, you probably are going to live longer, and you're going to want to live longer because you know what we find is, we, even with our clients, is we have a lot of clients in their 80s that are doing things that they never dreamed they'd be doing in their 80s. And you got to plan for it. You got to plan to fund it. Um, another thing too, just going back to income, Bob, and talking about yield. Another mm-hmm. solution that just doesn't work right now is interest rates are very low and having too much cash on the sidelines. You're not going to get to your goals sitting with so much cash. And unlike your parents, when interest rates were a lot higher, you've got to be a lot smarter about getting a return on your money. Uh, whereas before, you could probably just sit in some CDs, collect your interest every month, and you're in good shape. That doesn't work now because rates are so, so low. Yeah, that's the real shame, Rye. Over the last eight years, so many of our clients' parents and aunts and uncles who used to invest in three month and six month and two year certificates of deposit and roll them over and did it successfully for 20, 30 years, suddenly are making less than an inflation rate of return. And all they needed was some advice on investing a little longer term. They would have had a great positive return. It's not too late. Rates are good now and, and there's good places to invest your money. But sitting in cash has been a failed strategy, not just now, but for the last 50 years. Yeah, exactly right. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I've got too much money in cash. I need a plan that's going to solve for my long-term retirement goals. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's our full holistic review where we analyze everything. All you need to do is print out or collect those financial statements this month put them in a binder, put them in a folder, bring them in the office, and we'll go through all of it. What we'll do is we'll build you your own personalized online portal where you can see your entire financial net worth in one place, and we can do a full analysis. We're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at things like income. Income is so critical for retirement. Is your portfolio structured correctly for retirement? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in investment portfolios. I know it's shocking. Bob and I are going to break down all the hidden costs in those annuities, mutual funds, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio protected if the market goes down? Is your portfolio bulletproofed? We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio for the long term. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 
752-6692. Hey, this is Bob. I'm with my son, Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning, this is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist and Founding Partner of Payne Capital Management. Now the Labor Department reported that the U.S. added 201,000 new jobs in August, holding the unemployment rate at 3.9% and raising hourly earnings up 2.9% year over year. Now the dollar and treasury bond yields rose on the news. Stocks were lower on the week as expectations rose that the Federal Reserve will raise short-term interest rates later this month, and some fear that future wage inflation will cause the Fed to become much more aggressive over the coming months. Jeff Salt of investment firm Raymond James says that low unemployment, improving business conditions, rising earnings, and increased valuation in stocks is exactly what happens in the second stage of a secular bull market. Now, all secular bull markets have three stages, and the second stage is usually the longest stage of the bull market and sees the largest advance in prices. Now, the time to worry is when you enter the third stage. That's marked by excessive speculation and the appearance of inflationary pressures. During the third and final stage of a bull market, the public is fully involved in the market, valuations are excessive, and confidence is extraordinarily high. And that's also about the time you start getting stock tips from your cab driver. Now, none of those conditions exist right now. Today, the average investor is not fully invested. There's $9 trillion in cash sitting on the sidelines that could be invested in financial assets. Confidence is up, but nowhere near overconfidence. It's been said that you'll experience three secular bull markets in your investing lifetime. The first, now nah, you probably won't have enough money to take advantage of it. The third, probably be too old to care. So it's in the middle bull that you should take advantage of the opportunity. And Mr. Salt tells his audience, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second secular bull market of my lifetime, and I am taking full advantage of it. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do you have a portfolio appropriate to your dreams, to your goals, to your risk tolerance? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet, hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I do our best to give you common sense advice that you can use on your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, just a great baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish that's bullish spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's bullish to 555-888. Our newest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. If you want to get started, check it out. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, I'm acutely aware that school is back in session because I happen to live very close to NYU. 
and all those pesky college students are just <laughs> crowding up my coffee shop now, and uh, you know I have to wait like 20 minutes for a coffee. It's really annoying. But uh, it's, that's horrible, right? <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. I and mean, I know it's been a long time since uh, you've done a multiple choice quiz, but I thought uh, since it is back in school time, it would be apt that we did a uh, multiple choice quiz. So, you ready? All right, bring it on. Bring it on. All right. So, which of these is the best estimate of how much income you'll need in retirement? A, 50% of your income. B, 85% of your income. C, 100% of your current income. Or D, none of the above. You know, right. the rule of thumb in the financial planning industry has always been you're going to retire on 70 to 80% of your after-tax income. But with working with so many well, with working with so many people over the last 40 years, the answer is D, none of the above. None of the above, so higher than 100%. It's always higher than 100%. It's a, and recently I just read an article that that's what everybody's finding out is that uh, they all estimate lower than what they're actually going to need in retirement. That's why you got to run those what-if scenarios, right? Yeah, no, it goes back to what we had talked about in the last segment. The problem is you're living a lot longer than your parents, so you're going to end up having a lot more cost in retirement. I mean, it's, it's going to be everything from fun things to do. It's hard to believe, but if you're going to be in your 80s, you'll probably be, still be going on great trips. I mean, we're seeing that now with our clients. They're not slowing down. In addition to that, though, there's going to be those healthcare costs that you didn't have to worry about when you were younger. So I agree with you 100%, Bob. You really need to prepare for more money in retirement, and that has to be part of running your, your wealth projections or factored in. Uh, that's, the of course, right. If they don't have you as a son, then they need to make sure that they don't run out of money. <laughs> I sound like I'm going to become Bob's pension soon. <laughs> I kind of like this idea. I'm loving the show. This is a good, uh, good theme for the show. <laughs> I'm not really enjoying this. Uh, so <laughs> the next question, which of these do you find that retirees fear the most? A, not leaving enough to the kids, B, okay. running out of money, and C, needing nursing home care. Number one thing you fear is running out of money. Absolutely. You know, over the years, I've had different ways of that being expressed. Um, but back in the 80s and 90s, when I had someone who wasn't saving enough, you know, I would illustrate it with our wealth projections. But, you know, I would tell them that they said, well, what happens if we run out of money? Well, I'd be a bag lady. And, you know, I said, well, yeah, that, that could happen. So, you know, for years, a lot of my clients would come in and say, here, here's another check, put it in the pension, put it in a retirement plan. I don't want to be a bag lady. So running out of money is a very motivating, fearful image. We don't want anybody to run out of money, right? Yeah, no, exactly right. And that's why, I mean, I always say planning is very therapeutic. It's just nice to know where you stand. And a lot of times you're probably better off than you think. It's just sitting down and modeling these things out. And that's why I love doing our total financial master plan because it just gives you a great view of where you are and where you need to be and if any adjustments need to be made, which is better than being in the dark. Uh, next well, question. Sometimes I find why there are two priorities that get out of whack. You know, people think too much about inheritance. And as a result, most of you are taking way more risk in your portfolio than you need to. And you need to back it down now while the market's at all time record highs. Yes, exactly. You need to create a retirement income portfolio from a wealth accumulation portfolio. And that's a big mistake we see right now. Definitely need to look and see where you're at with that. Next question, Bob, is which of these examples best represents a diversified retirement plan? A, a mix of 60% stocks and 40% bonds. B, three rental homes in different neighborhoods along with significant amount of cash in the bank. Or C, 10 to 12 different mutual funds. Or D, none of the above. Well, it depends on that mix of stocks and bonds, and it depends on what type of mutual funds they are. But you know, just as a rule of thumb, right, I'd say none of the above. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. None of these strategies address what you're going to need in retirement. The key is you do want to have some diversification, but you know what that mix is between different stocks, bonds, real estate really has to be customized to you. Yeah, I mean, every every plan has to be customized to you because you're unique. It's It's always about you. And you shouldn't have this cookie cutter portfolio that a lot of, of these wirehouses recommend. You want to have a strategy that's based on your goals. And it's got to be part of a plan, right? Right. It's got to be part of a, a living plan that adjusts as time passes. All right. Every day we get older. Every day the markets operate. 
And that's where people lose money when they have a portfolio that gets more risky as they get older. Nobody's paying attention. Yes, you've got to readjust along the way. It's a working document. It's not something static. And the other thing too, Bob, is right now things are good. Market's done really, really well for the last decade. The best time to make changes is when things are good because it, when, the, when the wind changes and things turn on a dime, you're out of luck. It's not the time to make changes. Um, another the number thing too, one thing I'm finding, right, is that most of you don't realize the risk that's inherent in your portfolio. Risks are only recognized in hindsight. And you, big risk I see are with bond funds, which we talk about all the time. But if rates go up, those bond funds are going to get clobbered and you can do something about it right now. And that's that's really the call to arms. That's a call to action that I, that I like to announce right now. Yeah. And that's why I love our total financial master plan, Bob, because we can actually build that portal where we can see everything so we can actually see where the risks are and we can actually model out where you have problems in your portfolio. Yeah. Excellent point, Ryan. If you're thinking to yourself, I need to be financially healthy. You know, I need to know what I own in my portfolio. Know that it's appropriate. And I need to know the fees I'm paying. I need to know if I'm positioned to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity to know. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved at least 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, it's a full holistic review where we look at everything. Gather all your statements, put them in a folder, put them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone, text us. We're going to review everything with you and build your own personalized 360 financial portal that allows you to become financially organized and to view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience. We're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, true diversification, fees, and income. You know, you want to be diversified. That doesn't mean just owning a couple of mutual funds like we said in the last segment. It's about diversifying your assets within asset classes and across asset classes and having permanence and definition in your bond portfolio. Fees are something that, you know, I don't know about you, but I hate being overcharged by anybody. I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my own portfolio. And lastly, income. We want to help you to increase the income that your portfolio delivers on a reliable annual basis. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized view, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting for over 40 years? That's right, folks. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrid world of financial propaganda? Well, I found out that the sell side indicator at Merrill Lynch is firmly neutral. Well, that tells me nothing, Bob. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> just wanted to pique your interest, son. So the sell side <laughs> indicator is a collection of the recommended stock allocation of all the Wall Street analysts uh, at the last business day of each month. So basically what it does, it talks to all the strategists to find out how much they think you should have in the stock market. And here's the best part about the indicator. When they're very, very bullish, in other words, when they tell you to have the most amount of stock in your portfolio, 
is typically an indication that the market's about to go down. Huh. So in other words, <laughs> this indicator is what we call a contrarian indicator in that the market does the opposite of what the so-called experts that you're paying a lot of money to tell you it's going to happen. You know, for example, right, so over the last 10 years, when do you think these analysts had their highest recommended allocation to stocks? I mean, it had to be at the peak of the market. It always is. Yeah. Right before the market crashed, they had their highest allocation and they had their lowest allocation back in 2012. And the market's gone up about 300% since then. Yeah, it's amazing. It's the great irony of investing, right? I mean, it's when we feel the best, we're the most optimistic, there's the most risk. And when it always feels like the world's falling apart, it's apocalypse now, the opportunity is always the greatest. And I think that's one of the, the hardest things about being an investor in general is whatever you feel emotionally is wrong. <laughs> and, and that's why an indicator like this is very interesting. And I have to think, Bob, you're saying it's neutral right now, it means that, mm -hmm. well, essentially people are very ambivalent about stocks. Even though the market's gone up magnificently here, nobody's really, really that bullish or they don't have the rosy colored sunglasses on. Well, here it is, Ry. You know, you're sitting there, you're worried about trade, you're worried about global growth, you're worried about emerging market currencies dropping, you're worried about geopolitics. Well, so do the experts. Just because you have a CFA or an MBA or you work for a big bank doesn't make you less human. And you are subject, you know, to fear and greed. And so are the experts. And that's why you can't follow a strategy based on experts. You need a strategy yep. based on what you need to accomplish. That's what yeah, Warren Buffett does. That's what Ryan Payne does. That's what you should do. <laughs> Ryan Payne and Warren Buffett in the same sentence. Finally, at last. Two um, greatest investors of all time. <laughs> Hey, that's right. That's right. I'm a legend in my own mind, though, Bob. But no, I, th I think that's a good point. I think it's a good point when you're building your own investment plan is we talked a lot about managing risk. You really, really want to make sure when the market's doing well, like it is right now, that you are protecting yourself and you're making the right decisions. Because odds are, if the market continues to go up here, it's only going to become more and more risky. And you don't want to put yourself in a position where finally, we do get some kind of market correction or the market goes down and you know the old proverbial, the tide goes out and you're swimming naked, right? So it's mm -hmm. so critical now, while the market is going up, while things are well, that uh, you do make sure that you're, you're putting the right precautions and safeguards in place because it's not gonna last forever. So now we know, right, that the sell side indicator means buy and the buy side indicator means sell. So we got everybody completely confused. What did you find <laughs> out there in the world of uh, financial propaganda? <laughs> Let me write that down real quick. So I found an interesting one this week. Cryptocurrencies collapsed, which they did. They went down a lot this week after a report from Goldman Sachs came out saying that they're rolling back their trading desk plans in cryptocurrencies. And this is just a great example, Bob, of remember the mania at the end of last year into this year for Bitcoin. It went through the roof in price. And now it's more than 50% down this year. It's just a good reminder not to get caught up in the uh, you know euphoria of any certain market. And Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is a great example of that. It always drives me crazy when people would buy something as risky and as untried and untrue as, as cryptocurrencies, and they're scared to death of a diversified portfolio of blue chip stocks and bonds. <laughs> it's so true. I mean, I had so many calls coming in in December into January people that had no interest in the markets or anything saying, hey, we got to get into this Bitcoin. Everybody's talking about it. Let's put some money there. And to your point, Bob, I mean, what is more risky than a currency that doesn't really even work? <laughs> you hey, can't you buy mean, anything I, with it. You actually called the top in Bitcoin when you did that uh, video segment where they filmed you going to Starbucks and tried to buy a, a latte with Bitcoin. It was hilarious, but it was also the top of the market. <laughs> and guess what? I couldn't buy a uh, Starbucks coffee with that Bitcoin. <laughs> well, the best part was finally, since you held the line up for so long, you got so many New Yorkers mad at you, the manager came out and said, here, it's free. Get out of here. <laughs> That's right. He gave me a free coffee. He felt bad for me. <laughs> Well, if you can't buy a cup of coffee with currency, then you know that's not a very useful currency. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, though, back in uh, January. So the point is, I think uh, what it comes down to, and right now, again, like, like any time, 
you got to have a discipline with your portfolio. You've got to have a structure that gets you to retirement. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I haven't really employed any discipline on my portfolio. I don't know what my downside risk is. I don't know if I'm allocated correctly for retirement. Here's your shot to get that second opinion. We still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will do just that. We'll give you that second opinion with our total financial master plan. It's a full holistic review that's going to address all your financial issues. All you have to do is bring in those investment statements, bank statements at the end of the month, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. What we're going to do is build you your own personalized financial portal so you can view everything at a bird's eye view, look at the whole picture, and we're going to look at all the critical elements to your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? Where are you overweighted? If the market corrects tomorrow, are you protected? Are you going to feel that pain, no pun intended, like you did in 2008? We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden cost in investment portfolios. Those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, they're high cost. Bob and I are going to show you where you can reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. You need to create a current income stream to fill in your income gap. You need to convert your portfolio to make it retirement ready. Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question for you. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. Of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. This is Bob. I'm with Bry, and we're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is the Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all of the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling or texting 844 Seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. How's that saying go? No pain, no gain. It's the name of our show too, but we spell pain P A Y N E. It's no pain, no gain. Financial radio. Bob and I are simple men, so of course we like to keep it simple for you. And that's why we put together our latest video series: What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive just to give you some common sense planning advice to get you started with the financial planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a nice baseline to get started with putting together a financial plan. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can learn more about us on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. You can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News and CNBC with latest market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us directly at questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. And it's a really good question. We'll answer it right here on the show. And like every week, I think we got some good questions this week. And I have Mark Haywood, our producer, here to answer questions for us, or ask the questions at least. What do you have there in the mailbag this week? How's it going, man? Oh, we got a couple of good ones. I'm actually, uh, I've been doing some pondering throughout the show, Ryan. You said something. Pondering. You said something at the beginning that caught my eye. The This $11,000 
if you name your kid Harlan Sanders after the founder <laughs> of KFC. And I did think Harlan Haywood, I mean, that's got a nice ring to it. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, no one would uh, disagree that you're from the South. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I'm pretty Southern. As much as I love crispy fried chicken, I'm just not sure how I feel about naming my kid after the founder of a fast food chain, but <laughs> If it, I will put it this way. If anybody out there listening does that and wins $11,000, call in and tell us about it because I want to hear about that. Oh, you boy. Just call your child Spice. <laughs> <laughs> 11 Spices and Herbs. I like it. Just name them Herb. Why not? Herbie. Herbie. <laughs> 11 uh, Herbs and Spices. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, 11 children. Name them all Herb. <laughs> seriously, call in and, hey, we'll manage the $11,000 that you made off of it. So you can invest That's that. right. Oh, boy. Always be selling. All right. We have a lot of great questions that came in this week. Not from Herb, but from Holly. Holly is in Stamford, Connecticut. And she says, Bob, my neighbor retired two years ago and has decided that he needs to go back to work because money is too tight. I just retired last month, and I think we're fine. But now I'm a little worried. What the same thing might happen to me. How can I make sure that I don't have to go back to work? Well, Holly, that's a great question, and we appreciate you emailing the question in. But, you know, in some cases, you're not able to go back to work, and that's the big risk. Your health may preclude you from going back to work, or your company may not want you back, or you may be rejected just because of your age, because a lot of companies don't want the health care cost expense. So it's really stacked against you in going back to work. And, you know, I'm sure and certain that your neighbor that did go back to work is probably not that happy, because trust me, going back to work at an older age, you don't have the energy you don't have the stamina or a desire to do that. But Holly, you know, it's real simple. You've got to be prepared to make sure that your money, based on, you know, all your passive income streams and your investment returns are going to allow you to have a lifetime of income you can't outlive. You know, Rye, we call that getting from point A to point B. It can't be any more simple than that, can it? Yeah, no, I mean, that's what it comes down to. And again, talking about that therapeutic aspect of it. It's just nice to know. And that's why we run that process of, you know, where you're trying to go, how to do it, and not just sitting back and worrying that it might happen to you. You know, why not find out for sure? Well, that's what I love about our 360 financial portal. It builds that nice, beautiful mountain of wealth that as you see go by each year if you're a well-planned investor. And it's so nice to know that, you know, you can have your lifestyle, you can overcome inflation, you can account for health care benefits, you can account for longevity, and you get a picture of it every day, you know, just to reinforce that belief because, you know, the news media is always going to test your resolve, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I and to your point, Bob, I mean, having that 360 portal, having a place where all of your assets are updated on a daily basis. So if you have accounts at lots of different places, you don't have to log into everyone, write down your balances every day, you go into one place, see all the balances. And the cool thing is all the modeling that we can do, you know, just looking at, okay, what if I want to work another five years? What if I want to go back to work? What if I want to, you know, stop working early? You can do all those what if scenarios on the fly. And that's kind of the cool thing about modern technology, like use it to your advantage. Make sure you have everything in one place because it's great for your spouse too. You don't want to keep your spouse in the dark. Just having that one place where you have everything set is a really nice feature. And it's like, everybody should be doing that now. You know, Ryan, my favorite part of the job right now, my favorite part of the business is electronically transferring that cash to our clients and their checking accounts every month. So they never have to think about, is there enough money in the account? You know, I want them to focus on the retirement and having that income come in every month, not have to think about it. No one's all taken care of. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a great joy. Yes. Your own personal pension, basically. Well, thank you for writing in, Holly. Let's move over now to Gabe. Gabe's on Port Jefferson, Long Island, and he says, Ryan, I have our retirement savings spread out between my 401k, two IRAs, a Roth, and several mutual funds purchased with after-tax dollars. Which account should I start withdrawing from first? Oh, boy. Gabe, good question. And this is one that we come up with a lot. It's so, so critical to figure out what strategy you're going to use to start drawing on your assets. And like Gabe here, you probably have a lot of different accounts and it comes down to where's the best place to take from first. Now I'm going to say, you know, this is a very customized type of thing where for everybody it's going to be different. And especially if you're in your sixties, there's a lot of creative planning that you can do. You know, we say that you don't want to wait till you're 70 and a half and have what we call a ticking retirement tax time bomb and have to start taking your mandatory distributions then and really jacking up your income tax. 
So the long story short of this, Bob, and you can chime in here, is you really want to sit down with your financial planner and your accountant and figure out the optimal strategy that keeps taxes low throughout your lifetime. You know, of course, Gabe might be in a position, right, where he's already 70 and a half and you have that required mandatory distributions. I worked on those all this week. We have a really unique strategy in that we meet the required minimum distribution with what we call in-kind distributions. In other words, you can take the asset that's gone up the most in your retirement plan and transfer that over to your personal account, meet the RMD, and then it leaves the rest of the money in the portfolio to reforest that portfolio. You know, Rob, you've, you and I have clients that have been taking money out of the retirement accounts for 10 years and the account balances are the same. Yeah, that's right, Bob. I and mean, if you structure things properly, because it's not only about taking the money out of the right accounts, it's also placing the right investments in the right accounts, right? You know, you want to be smart about yep. what investments you have in your IRA versus what you have in maybe your regular brokerage account. You know, those things all come into play and it's so, so critical and so advantageous to look at all those things. I think that's a mistake you might be making right now, looking at each account as if it's an island within itself. You know, you should manage your money in concert. Every dollar should be managed in concert with every other dollar that you have. You should look at your portfolio as if it's a big suit and each portfolio is a different pocket, but you want to manage that for risk and income that's most tax advantageous to you. Don't you agree, Rye? Yeah, exactly right, Bob. I mean, that's good financial planning. Now, I've got a question for you, Rye. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized does Holly and Gabe sound to you? Oh, man. I, I'm going to put them at a two or three, Bob. This is not good financial planning. I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, where would you like to be in terms of being financially organized? Of course, you'd want to be a 10. And if you want to be a 10, all you have to do is be one of our next 10 callers and have saved at least $200,000 for retirement. And if you qualify, here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to create your own 360 financial portal. This is a full holistic review where we're going to look at everything. Gather all of your statements, put them in a folder, put them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone, text or call, because we're going to review everything with you and build your own personalized 360 financial portal that will allow you to become financially organized on a scale of 10. And you'll be able to view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience. We're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, fees, and income. You know, to have a truly successful experience in investing, you need to be diversified across asset classes, within asset classes, with bonds that have a fixed coupon and a fixed maturity date. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged. And with all the hidden costs in portfolios today, you are being overcharged by your own portfolio. And lastly, income. We want to increase the amount of cash flow that your portfolio produces on an annual basis into a reliable, dependable income stream. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan that answers this age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. 9-2. That's 844-752-6692. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. 
That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I always try to give you the most common sense, easy to understand advice that you can use with your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, a great way to get started with the financial planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888 what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free just to get started with the financial planning process. Text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show, my colleague, Bob's colleague, Jennifer Angel, who just passed level Mm -hmm. two CFA. Pretty amazing. Yes, thank you. Very exciting. So only one more level, and I'm good to go. That's a is a beast. I mean, I told of the students chest. we're going back to school, Jen. You're you're getting out of school now. Exactly. Uh, at least a couple months like- off here, but then I'll uh, start studying again in the winter when it starts getting gross out. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> Delay it for a little bit. Enjoy the weather for a little bit. But yeah, uh, yeah I know. Congratulations, Jen. Very thank cool. You. And that's why we call Jen Certified Financial angel for the record. Yep. This is our spotlight segment where basically we take a real retirement plan, we analyze it, we look at some of the mistakes that were made and, and talk about how we made some corrections to help a couple or a person get on track for retirement. And you worked on a case very recently, Jen. Why don't you talk to us about it? Tell us you know, what what's going on here and how you got this person or couple on their track to financial freedom. Yeah. So um, I had a client of mine who said, you know, I, I talked to my friend and his advisor is actually retiring and, you know, doesn't really like the next guy that they're bringing on. There's no relationship. And he said, you know, had glowing recommendation for me, which was great. Um, <laughs> he said, you know, talk to this couple. So I did. And he is 75 and she's almost 70. I've been retired for a little while now. And, you know, I looked at their portfolio and said, OK, here's the kind of big problems I see. I'm really they, you know, they didn't talk to their advisor very often. They didn't feel like, you know, they were kind of left on the sidelines. So they were excited to hear from me and see what I had to say. One of the big things I saw right off the bat is, you know, they're in their going to be late seventies, and they're about eighty percent in equities. Wow! So eighty wow. percent of their money is at risk in the markets, which and is insane. That is insane. I mean, if you're twenty years old, maybe, but even then, it's kind of aggressive. Yeah. And also, I just touch upon this too. There's another thing we see is, you know, is your financial advisors are retiring now. You know, you don't want your financial advisor retiring before you do, right. and who who knows you're going to get after that. I mean, that's a, that's a big problem in our industry right now. Wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. If the financial <laughs> advisor retires, can't they give you advice while they're laying on the beach next to you? You know, Bob, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, All right. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I won't be retiring anytime soon. So um, yeah, it worked out. So again, they're about 80% equities, which is just absolutely crazy You know, for this couple who doesn't need that much risk. They're not huge mm-hmm. spenders, but they do have, you know, if there was something that would happen to their portfolio, you know, they'd be down 40, 50%, which is just something that you don't need in your 70s. Yeah. We talked about that today, Jen. Um, we had an email come in and uh, the, the person's neighbor was not having enough income in retirement, had to go back to work after being retired for a couple of years. Could you imagine at 70 going back no. for a job interview? <laughs> I can't be easy. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. And, you know, for this couple, you know, they again, they're not huge spenders. So they only need, you know, after Social Security, which is just not going to cover anything. You know, they live in the tri-state area. So Social Security is not going to cover it. And they have a small pension, but really they need an additional almost twenty thousand dollars in just, you know, living expenses. And 
you know, with our new portfolio, I said, okay, you know, if you brought everything to us, we can generate pretty much exactly that in just additional income, actually almost 23,000 in additional income, which without even touching your principal, just covers your additional expenses, which is huge. Yeah. And that's kind of the sweet spot, right? It's like, if we can convert your portfolio from what we call wealth accumulation to a wealth distribution portfolio, generate enough current income that it covers your expenses and you don't have to give up your principal. Because that's one of the things when you look at a lot of annuities is you have to give up your principal to get an income stream. Here, you get to keep your liquidity, but at the same time, you get income for life. And that's kind of a, the magic sweet spot when you're building these type of plans. Well, what I see, it's not just the uh, increasing yield because you're you're increasing the yield with double A high credit, you know, high high quality bonds. You're actually reducing their internal expense. So the money that was going to the advisor who doesn't call them is now going to go to them so that they can enjoy their retirement. <laughs> harsh, Bob, but true. <laughs> right. It's not so, harsh. Um, it's, it's it's a fact of it's a fact of the analysis. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much a no-brainer where they're getting additional income that's going to cover their expenses. They're actually less risky, and you know they have someone that's actually going to call them. So it's you know pretty much no-brainer. And you know they were happy to you know have someone to talk to for the first time. We felt like they were actually on their side. Yeah, I mean the only problem is, Jen, are you looking to retire in the next couple of years? Uh, Ryan, <laughs> before, no, before thirty, <laughs> I got a ways to go. Well, great job, as Bob likes to say, another financial masterpiece. And if you're thinking to yourself, this is the kind of review I need. I'm not quite sure my advisor is on top of my investments. I'm not sure if my advisor is even going to be around much longer. And I need to know I've got to create income in retirement. Here's your shot to get that review. We have a couple slots left. If you call us now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Jen, Financial Angel, We'll run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review like this. If you bring in your financial statements, just print them out off the computer, put them in a folder. We'll look at all of that for you. We're going to build your own personalized portal so we can get a bird's eye view of your entire financial picture. And then we're going to do an analysis like this. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? This couple had a lot of hidden costs in their portfolio. They didn't even know they were paying we're going to show you how to reduce that cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap now? Can we create or increase the income on your portfolio to fill in that income gap without giving up your principal? And we're going to look at diversification. This couple had 80% of their money in the stock market at risk. They're in big trouble if the market goes down. Are you protected if the market goes down? Where's the safety of the safeguards in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies our family has put together now for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, we have a few slots left. You've saved over 200000 for your retirement our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, and there's no cost, and there's no strings attached. But there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show, Jen. It was always an honor and a privilege to have you. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, now it's like even like an A-level star guest now that you're CFA level exactly. two. Exactly. I know. <laughs> Bob, any plans for the rest of the weekend? You know, Rye, it's uh, football season. It's time for college football and the pros and uh, ready for the fall. I like it, Bob. I like it. Well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.